Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm showing you a settlement that I built here at Kingsport Lighthouse in Fallout 4. So we're right here. The last video I did was at Croup Manor. Uh, if you guys went and checked that out, you would know that um, these two settlements are both kind of ran by the Minutemen in my playthrough here. And so this settlement is connected to that settlement in a couple different ways. Um, if you guys haven't been to Kingsport, which I imagine, you know, pretty much everybody has. Uh, when you first get here, there's all kinds of traps everywhere, a couple enemies you have to fight. Uh, but the Minutemen, they had no problems moving in, and I'll go ahead and show you what we built. So we come around here, you can already see turrets, big spikes on the bus here. This whole thing is kind of walled off so the only way in is through this road and at that point everybody can kind of see you coming in this guy over here uh, this is our oh why is everybody down here oh they were fighting there was some fighting going on earlier before I was gonna show the settlement and I was wondering what was going on but uh, so this power uh, power armor Minuteman he usually guards facing like that way where we came from so you can kind of see everybody you know doing their thing this is our main entrance it's not really a gate uh, but you can see here with all the turrets and everything it is kind of secure right around here built a place for the traders um, I don't have a place for traders at every single settlement not every settlement in my PlayStation playthrough is allied with the traders of Bunker Hill um, but here you can see to get around these fucking Brahmin little cooking station little area to just kind of chill a little bed it is tucked up right against the wall um, so they don't get too far into the settlement just because it is a Minutemen uh, base of operations but they do come they do do business with the Minutemen up here a little fire to keep them warm a little bit of uh storage area around here I actually built these guys kind of a bed um, because the settlement is way the hell out here in East Jesus Nowhere um, sometimes these guys will need to stay for a night or two and so we've gone ahead and built this quarters in here for them so I thought this was really well done um, in order to get these pallets up in here because you normally you can't build in here um, at least on PlayStation so what you can do these stackable pallets will go actually underneath the bus. I don't know if I'll be able to see it. Yeah, look, that right there, that's one of the pallets. So you just kind of stack them up on top of each other, and it kind of worked out. They just kind of came through the floor, and now um, you can kind of path up here, and then they'll bunk out here, you know, a little uh, window they look out. I'll, uh, I'll probably wait and show you guys what it looks like at nighttime too just because I love the way I did the lighting here um, right here by the entrance we have this merchant let's see if he's here this is our armorer um, this is just a scavenger that the Minutemen came across and they offered him a job so now he makes all of the Minutemen uniform Minutemen uniforms I'm not doing any uh, speech problems <laughs> for this video I had to edit it out that first video and it was a pain in the ass um, so he makes the Minutemen uniforms for the whole Commonwealth everybody that joins up eventually they they come in, uh, to Kingsport or he goes and um, you'll see a little bit later how he's able to ship some of this stuff across the city or across the Commonwealth over here it says little bed area so this keeps it out of the sun just in case he's over here during the day he doesn't have too too much bed <laughs> some ammo the essentials you know what I mean uh, recruitment beacon I do have some mods here on my playthrough that allow me to spawn a couple settlers a little bit quicker um, so I only use that every once in a while otherwise I'll put the settlers down um, by hand it's a little Minuteman weapon shop Anybody local in the area that's coming through just to trade, um, they go ahead and they, they come in here, build some workbenches, 
some serious uh, yeah. cavalry here, ham radio, just to communicate with the rest of the Commonwealth, and a little table to work on the guns and whatnot. We did restore this little house that's already here. I didn't do too, too much with it. I'll show you guys. So you come in. I didn't really mess with that too much. I just put some some tables over here. Little semi mess hall kitchen. Just has tons of space for our Minutemen to get some food, get some drinks. They're spoiled for choice. This area, I think I just left it alone. I think it's like this whenever you first come here. I don't know if, I don't think I put any of that stuff down. Upstairs. We kind of, because of how like ruined this building is, I kind of did the best I could. So in here are some barracks. They've got some food just in case they get the late night munchies. You know how it is out here in the wasteland. Yeah, no, it's it's really compact. I like the way that I maximize space. You know, there's not a whole lot here. There's only so much you can do on the PlayStation. I have been playing Fallout 4 on my PC. I have so many mods. It looks beautiful. I'm just doing like a whole new playthrough. So I'm probably going to stream that um, on Twitch. So you guys will be able to capture that. I tried to do it um, last week. And I just couldn't get I think it was taking too much of my... Um, GPU or um, Streamlabs was giving me problems, but I think I fixed it. This is a little guard um, post. So occasionally one of my patrolmen will come and they'll stand here. They kind of just back up the, the power armor guy overlooking the settlement, watching the uh, traders. We built up here, so I added all this on, and this took me forever trying to get it, you know, as close to the wall as I could. The Minuteman plan on expanding this little house. So as you can see here, one of the first additions. It's a nice little area. It's a nice little sleeping area. And they still have more to do. So whoever gets this bunk, you can tell how happy they are every day. Let's go back down, check out some more. I don't know who this is. She must be brand new. Hi, I haven't hi. been on the PlayStation playthrough as much. I think the recruitment beacon's on. I think that's how she got here. Uh, around here, little another little guard post. It is kind of floating, but you know, what are you gonna do? Again, just backs up the power armor minute, man. Another little guard post. Around here, I did put these, uh, the little Far Harbor uh, fog things just because the children of Adam are kind of over there um, and Far Harbor's up that way so they never know what they're going to kind of face in this building right here little uh, hospital slash pharmacist so this is one of our Minutemen here Not many doctors around these days. cool little hospital just in case anybody you know takes a bullet she can go ahead and patch them up and then Anybody that's coming through to do business, she can hook it up with a stim pack. Around here, see, this is how I supported that little shack from the bottom. <laughs> I built a little Brahmin pen right here. Oh, that's lovely. I could tell you're... I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, yeah, little storage shed area. You keep the Brahmin here. Normally, obviously, he's supposed to be up there, but what are you going to do? Hitching post. This is one of the, the guard posts. Um, so I think only I can like come up here. I don't think I'm in a mental path up here. But anytime we're getting attacked from over here, we're, we're always ready. We're always vigilant. Uh, this wall kind of goes all the way around. So there's a little pathway down here. Again, another little fog condenser. And it goes into like this little... Uh, oh guard post right here I don't know oh, it's probably from that so she kind of overlooks the beach just make sure that you know if anybody's coming from the north that we're ready for it again this barrier comes all the way down here so it wraps up around here I have turrets I've got mines sitting over there some more turrets 
um, just because they want this to be as secure as possible. The Minutemen don't want anybody coming in and out of here. Other than, apparently, these new people that I haven't been back. You guys can help out on this little farm that we got here. Right here, I built this building. These are more barracks. So if you can see here, more of the bunk beds. A little bit more detailed. They have these uh, armor, uh, or ammo, excuse me. <laughs> ammo boxes, the, uh, the military bag uh, that you put guns in, and then they have a bird's eye just in case they're ever in here and they get an attack, they have to defend it from inside the building. Little steamer trunk, it's a little tight here. Uh, that's where they keep their belongings. Again, a little makeshift kitchen. The Minutemen don't spend too, too much time in here. That's why they haven't bothered, you know, pretting it up. Around here, so I have this fenced off. So again, no visitors really get to this point. And if they do, we have, um, this minute man here who kind of keeps watch anybody that's coming in and out of the dock doing business um, goes through him he's one of the um, lieutenants you can say more um, just random things over here I tried to just make it look as cluttered as possible you know the Minutemen have so many things in their um, inventory down here we'll see I know that this always gets messed up on the on the PlayStation uh, I tried my best to keep my uh, windmill generators kind of out of the way, keep them as lore friendly as possible. Uh, which way do we want to go? Let's go left. So down here, I kind of built this little fishery. So this guy kind of just sells all these fish to the Minutemen. They kind of coexist here. They live together, the fishermen and the Minutemen. It kind of works out both for them. Um, the fishermen provide the food, the Minutemen provide the protection. It's a very beneficial relationship. See, they have tons and tons of uh, stock. Sometimes they help out. All these little fish yes. decorations. And see, like right there, you can see I set a turret set up. I wasn't lying to you guys. Ain't nobody coming from that way and surviving. Down here, kind of a little, I know it's floating. I know it's not as immersive as it could be. Um, just another little um, kind of pillbox and in, a, in case of attack around here is where they keep one of the boats so this is where uh, this is one of the fishing boats so they'll take this out they got their little radio paddle out do some fishing bring it back it's right here more turrets purifying the water of course uh, here simple little outhouse down here put more power I kind of blocked it off with those um, sandbags that way it keeps the water at bay doesn't get involved with our electricity powering that and then the lights around here up let's go back up just so you can see what I did with the little fishing building I built these little stairs here I'm trying to get everything looking as nice as I can down in here You can see just another storage shed for the fishermen this time. They all have their outfits. Anything you could possibly need to fix a boat. I didn't really... I tried to put things here. I tried to glitch things here. And I just couldn't. I wanted way more boats. Um, you know, if I revisit the settlement and PC. Which I, I assume I'll do all of them. You know, now that I have the power of the PC. I'll be able to do everything I want. Um... Just imagine there's more boats. You guys can use your imagination. Down here, this is the main reason I built this settlement, right? This is the main lore reason behind what the Minutemen are doing here. So as you can tell, watch, I'll go up a little higher just in case we weren't able to see it. That's completely closed off. So you can't see what's under there. That's just in case any brotherhood with their vertebrates are flying over. We don't want them knowing what we have here. So I'll show you guys. This also acts as the Minutemen, um, their main supply chain runs through Kingsport. So we have the boat, which is how we're able to distribute goods all along the coast. And then obviously we have some of our provisioners take all these goodies inland. So we have the fat men crates, all these military crates with all kinds of weaponry inside. Uh, 
safes, crates full of goodies. Anything you could possibly want to ship to one of the settlements. You know, they need some turrets. Comes through Kingsport. They need some nuclear material, some kind of weaponry, some loot. Comes through Kingsport. And down here, we kind of souped up this little bad boy. So now it's like, it's got this artillery. There's supposed to be somebody here. We're going to have to <laughs> figure out where everybody is. You get attacked right before you try to do a video and it just, I don't know. I could have reset it. I'm sorry. I probably should have. Would have been more immersive. Uh, this is just like a little U-boat. It kind of humble in here, but this is how they transport everything. They just kind of throw it back here. Got the motor churning. Got the defense on there, so it's usually two to three a boat. You know, we'll have one guy on the cannon, a couple on the guns. We'll have the captain steering the ship. So yeah, this is a really important base to the Minutemen. This is how the entire coast and all my coastal settlements are supplied um, through the boat system that they have here at Kingsport. I'll show you guys what I did with the lighthouse. Kind of built in here. I, dude, you are bothering me. I hate those hats. Those are the ugliest hats. I'm getting around you, guy. I'm sorry. So here, some of our Minutemen actually stay inside the lighthouse. As you can see, nice little bed. A couple belongings, not too much. And on this level, just a little post. Somewhere to write down your thoughts. Not much of a view. That's what the top is for. Over here. A little more detail. You know, they want to have food up here at these higher levels. They don't have time sometimes in between their shifts or their lookouts. Run down to the market or run down to the little farm that we have and get fresh food. So usually they'll get their food and they'll bring it up here. We have somebody operating the radio. So they tag team with... The lookout who's not here. This is another telescope so that they can look at Croup Manor. See, I told you that's how they they can have a look. If there's a ship, you know, they can warn them. Whatever the case may be. There's supposed to be a lookout here. Left them a comic book and everything. You know, some smokes. Try to make the shift go by a little easier. They can't even show up to work. Anyway, when it's not foggy as shit, you can see for miles. So they can see an attack on the horizon every which way. You know, if the children of Adam get wise, you know, something from Far Harbor comes down this way. The reason why I had this blocked off, I don't really remember the lore in the main game. But the only way to get up here, see, as you can see, the original light keepers, uh, they felt like they would be safe inside the top of the lighthouse when the bombs dropped. Don't ask me why, why they choose the glass over the concrete, but I had this mod installed where I was able to plop some ghouls down, some glowing ones. So in my lore, the way I have it set up, these are the original lighthouse keepers um, from back before the bombs. They were up here. They tried to uh, save themselves, essentially, from the bombs. And once we got here, thank God the door was barred, you know. But just in case, went ahead and put a fridge, a dresser, some containers up here just to keep these guys where they're at. And at night, it's not as good on the PlayStation Watch. I'll show you guys. Oh, I can't sit there. Four, five. We'll go six hours. See if it works. I'll show you guys some of the lighting here. Oh, beautiful. Uh, let's go a little darker. The lighting on the PlayStation is so funny sometimes. This is as good as we're going to get. So if you can let me entertain you for a minute. 
you see the lighting all the way across all those are beautiful see now we can kind of see more now that the fog's rolled out we can get a better look how you see these guys they glow that guy glows a little bit more uh, so any ship that's coming in this is the lighthouse beacon they're able to see pretty cool I thought but you know what are you gonna do I might link the mod list it's such a hassle but if anybody wants the uh, the ghoul mod let me know and I'll uh, I'll hook you up if you're on the PlayStation or even I think you can get it everywhere else I think it's on Bethesda.net let's see here Just show you guys a little bit more the lighting is a little bit more nautical not too too much um, I wanted to be subtle but impactful with my lighting so I wanted it here like this he can see everything like all the inventory all the shipment that's pretty well lit you know just so everything coming in and out of here excuse me guy I don't have time up over here we have the one light right there there's not too too much lighting over here I love these the way those look I think they're absolutely beautiful a little light for the bathroom just because I'm a gentleman that's obviously lit up the boat I wish these gave off more light I don't know if it's my game or if these are just shit on the PlayStation um, over here like I said I don't want this to be I want this to be like inconspicuous I don't want anybody to take a second look at it so there's only one little light everybody else in the Commonwealth thinks that this is just a fishery um, anybody that travels here they they know it that is uh, Minutemen outpost first they just don't know the extent um, yeah. as to the things that go on here of course I'll show you the lighting in this little room absolutely beautiful about as ambient as I can get it on the PlayStation See over here it's a little bit more well lit just to keep an eye on the animals so you come down here and that light is absolutely incredible. I think it's like one of the coolest things in the game. At least just the way it looks, the way they did it was really well, really well done. Here's Betsy. She's still, you know, hanging out, literally. I kept these on the ground just as uh, little path markers, you know, for my, uh, my guards to kind of get up and down the settlement you know naturally I, I don't think I think I had darker nights at one point and I just wasn't really vibing with it so in here oh my gosh in here we keep it well lit you never know emergency surgery she's gonna need to see the bullet obviously um, another little lamp if this dude ever gets back to his post, he stands right here, the, the Minuteman in power armor, I promise. And he has a little headlamp that he uses, which I thought was really tight. Because you can see it at night, and it looks really, really nice. Um, over here, just one little light. Not lit up at night. No reason. Nobody coming in and out of here. She should have locked her door. Whatever. Um, over here, guy doesn't really have anything. Our little uh, armor. Like I said, he's got the little candle over here just to read his books about his sorrows at night. Uh, this little candle right up here by the flag is probably my favorite little bit of lighting. Just showing off that Minutemen flag. And then over here, oh, I guess she has a lamp on top of her shit. That's cool. And that's it. <laughs> you can see the ghouls up there. That's my Kingsport Lighthouse um, settlement here on the PlayStation. Oh, see, look, dude, I told you guys. I told you he has a little helmet. What's up, dude? Oh, he's like one foot yes. off. Can I push him? Bitch. See, look at that. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, if you guys liked it, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. If you didn't like it, I mean, shit, sorry. But... 
go ahead and subscribe. I'm gonna I'm gonna do better. I promise at uploading more videos. Thank you guys for checking out the Croup Manor video. Thank you guys for checking out this video. If you've made it this far, um, again I'm Champagne. I'm gonna do more of these um, on the PlayStation. Like I said, I'm gonna try to get my PC um, playthrough going on Twitch. So look for me there. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take it easy.